hello my friends welcome back here to the channel kumar gs e learning platform and guys in this session we are going to discuss about a, an international organization and uh, that is probably known as BRICS. so in this session we are going to learn about the BRICS country and uh, the actual work of this organization and when it was formed we will talk all about it okay so let us first know about BRICS. BRICS stands for brazil russia india china and south africa means it is you can see this is the acronym coined for brazil russia india china and south africa it is an association of five major emerging national economies on this planet means brazil russia india and Chi china and south africa these all are emerging national economy on this planet but in the first beginning of this forum when it was being formulated in the first beginning there were only four country in this group and that time it was called as BRIC means it stood for Brazil, Russia, India and China. Later in 2010 South Africa joined this group and the acronym became BRICS means from thereafter the acronym became BRICS and in this group five countries came in this group and uh, those five countries are Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. If you know about abbreviation, you can simply see on the screen, abbreviation will be BRICS, B-R-I-C-S. And it was formed in 2009. And if I talk about the type of this organization, which kind of type uh, this organization is, so you can see here economic, political and regional cooperation organization. It means in a simple brief summary you can also elaborate about the function and the you know act of this forum is to develop economic political condition and regional cooperation among the countries means among the member countries right here you can easily explain about the memberships means if you remember the acronym of this international forum you can easily remember how many countries are there in this forum means there is only five country in this forum right brazil russia india china and south africa see about official languages portuguese russian hindi chinese and english these are the official language which are used in this organization means in this organization five countries come from the entire corner of this world so they use these mainly mainly four official languages that they can use walking while walking inside this organization these are portuguese russian hindi chinese and english right as i already have spoken to you see BRICS countries coming from the entire corner of this world this line that shows the from where the country is coming the in the first in the northern Amer southern america means latin america brazil is coming from there in the africa the south africa is coming from there here russia china and india so one two three four five so all these five countries come under this forum and this is collectively called as BRICS, right and you can see here here this was the last uh, summit that was held in 2019 in brazil see guys up each each year means each year the summit is held in any one of this member country and here but the summit which was about to be held in 2000 2020 that was not conducted due to the covid pandemic and the next summit is about to be held in 2021 means the next uh, location of uh, BRICS summit is to be seemed means it is about to be held in our country in india right so that 14th uh, means if i talk about the recent summit that was uh, that took place in brazil from 13th to 14th november 2019 but uh, that was the uh, 11th that was 11th summit th which was held in brazil and now the 12th summit is about to be held in india now let us know a little bit in detail BRICS does not exist in the form of organization but it is an annual summit between the supreme leader of five nations means the chairmanship of the forum is rotated annually among the members it accordance with the 
acronym like BRICS means in the first time in Brazil, in the second time in Russia, then in India, then in China, then in South Africa means after after every one year the next summit will be held to the next country. If I talk about a small brief history about the BRICS, BRICS is formed of following two major regions. Means it was formed due to the due to the following main two reasons to be an alternative to the World Bank of IMF to challenge US supremacy. Means in that so there was only main two reasons. The first reason was to be an alternative to World Bank and IMF means Indian Monetary Fund. At that time US was uh, seemed like uh, a super superpower, a super machine to so encounter the U the supremacy of U.S. and to find out the alternatives of. So the first reason was to encounter the supremacy of U.S. and the, to find out the alternate of World Bank and uh, Indian Monetary Fund. So this was the first reason. And the second reason was to provide self-owned and self-managed organization to carry out to carry out developmental and economical plans in the member nation without being dependent on any foreign policies or foreign agencies means this point gets it strengthened to recent development in BRICS with the initiative of BRICS bank that time the BRICS bank came in existence you can see here the five major emerging national economies and you can see the each flags of them here Brazil, Russia, India, so China and South Africa right now let us have a small look on objectives of BRICS. If I talk about the main objectives, the BRICS seeks to deepen, means deepen, broaden and intensify cooperation within the grouping and among the individual countries for more sustainable, e equitable and mutually beneficial development. Means the main objectives, the countries who are the member of BRICS, the main development and the deepen, broaden and intensify the cooperation within the group, within the member of this group, right? If all members will help to each other economically, politically and uh, from the entire form, so they can develop to one another, means they will help to one another in the development of the particular country, right? So this was the main objective of this organization. Later, inside this organization, NDB, New Development Bank was initiated. Means the BRICS states signed a treaty called Contingent Reserve Arrangement (CRA). The main uh, this this was the main uh, treaty that was signed uh, between uh, these BRICS. So, in 2014, means CRA was signed between the BRICS states, and it is a framework for the provision of support and balance of payments pressure. And in 2014, new development bank was formed and formally referred as a BRICS development bank. According to the agreement on the ADB, the new bank means I just want to tell later CRA a contingent reserve arrangement was signed between the country and in 2014, the new development bank was formed means to reduce the pressure of payment and the new development bank was called as a BRICS bank means you can also say new development bank as well as BRICS bank right means this bank so this bank shall support public or private projects throughout loan guarantee and equity participations the main objectives of this BRICS bank is to support the members to give loan to the member countries in the development right if you talk about headquarter location, so in Shanghai or China, which is located in China, in Shanghai, the headquarter of this and founded in 15 July 2014 means the headquarter of Shanghai is in, sorry, the headquarter of BRICS Bank is in Shanghai, which is located in China and it was formed in 14th July 2014, right. Let us have a small look on BRICS Bank and about its structure. New Development Bank will have an ECL means a subscribed capital of 50 billion dollar which will be raised by 100 billion dollar later the five members will have an equal share for each in the bank so no one member dominates in the institution means in this all the five members have equal share equal value and equal right so that none will have any kind of you know uh, bad thinking about others and none none can dominate any other in this organization in this institution right the headquarters is in Shanghai and bank will have African regional center in South Africa also means uh, another regional center in South Africa and India will assume the first presidency of this bank you already know about it chairman of board of governments will 
Russian it will have 41 billion from China 5 billion from South Africa 18 billion from remaining nations right means in the first beginning all these countries all the member countries includes their supports their assistant uh, in the beginning of this big bank right you can see the financial structure out of them the most important thing is at that time the expansion the 50 percent share of the bank will be held by BRICS countries only means 50 percent share will be held by only BRICS countries means only by five countries who are the member of BRICS developing or less developing countries can also apply for financial assistance means in the private sector public sector sector the country who are developing can also apply for the loan in this uh, forum or in this bank BRICS bank okay now let us talk about the area of cooperation the first area is economic cooperation means all the country will support and help in the development of the economic field the second one is people to people exchange BRICS members have recognized the need for strengthening people to people contact or exchange and to foster closure operation in the area of culture sport education film and youth so that what will happen by doing this if by doing people to people contact or exchange the culture will be spread to from one country to another country the idea the thought the ideology will be shared by the each country between each other right also if i talk about sports education and film industry will also be developed by sharing their ideas their you know technologies their education power and their you know spirit which are in the youth of the country so this will be developed by sharing people to people exchange right the third and the last most important is political and security cooperation means the country who are the member of BRICS also share the political regime the political you know status and uh, political strategy among this country and uh, if I talk about security cooperation most of the time you have seen like joint military co uh, joint military exercise joint naval exercise joint air force ex exercise so all these joint or bilateral exercise is conducted to develop the security cooperation among the member country right let us see some extra topic like if I if, if I ask why is BRICS important to India apart from the global agenda BRICS allows a new Delhi to send out message about its foreign policies priorities under underscoring its desire to part of issue best collision you know means a part of this forum global agenda BRICS allows New Delhi to send a message about foreign policy this is most important for and uh, this is a kind of advantage for our country the second is together BRICS accounts for about 40 percent of the world's population and about 30 percent of GDP cross gross domestic product making it a critical economic regime right it is an emerging investment market and global power so India must be there in this organization and uh, must participate means uh, globally to enhance its power globally right and uh, India should in invest in this forum too much so that he, he cannot be dominated by other country and he can be seen as a global power or emerging global power like India that be seen in the eye of the another country on this planet so in this point of view I would like to tell you India should also focus on this uh, forum and should maintain their higher standard in this forum hence India must be the leading partner within this group I just wanted to say this so guys this was all about BRICS and uh, I hope you have learned and you will not have any kind of doubt and uh, guys keep always update with the next uh, summit that is about to be held in India uh, 12th summit in 2021 okay till then keep studying and keep enjoying your days I will again come back with a new lesson. Bye-bye.